What is up guys, Coach Joe Garage De La Swole, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the number one health habit that I believe everybody should build. And it may surprise you if you've been watching this channel for a long time, but we're gonna get right into it and explain why I feel this way, how to go about it, and then maybe where it can progress to. So getting right to the point, okay, my number one health habit to build is walking, okay? Walking is the best medicine, hands down. And I believe it's a great way for anybody to start, whether it's their health journey or exercise journey, uh, to start just building that habit and see where it can lead to. There are so many benefits to walking, okay? Let's just start off the first one by movement, okay? You are getting movement and exercise in, and that's going to burn calories. There are tons of success stories where we have people who have lost weight, changed their body composition solely on walking. Now, walking paired with a proper calorie diet can also yield even greater results without even touching a weight whatsoever. And that's why I like it. I like it because there is such a small entry fee to walking that it kind of takes away the pressure uh, or maybe feeling overwhelmed or discouraged because all you have to do is have your body and just start taking steps. It's very simple. It's not like going to a gym for the first time and you're overwhelmed by seeing all these different people, machines, you know, guys with tons of muscles, girls who look completely shredded or kind of just have the physiques you want, that can be very off-putting to somebody who's just starting. Uh, so what we wanna do is make that as simple and easy and not overwhelming as possible, and that's why I like starting with walking. So with walking, we're obviously going to get some form of exercising, which is gonna be great for blood flow and circulation, okay? When we're getting that blood flow and circulation, it's also going to help with restoring cells in our body. It's going to help kind of boost different systems and organs that can help with your immunity to certain illnesses or diseases. And it is also going to give you a base level of cardiovascular health. For women specifically, it's going to help keep your bones strong, especially as we age. And anyone aging in general, I always am telling them to just keep moving, okay? My grandparents are my best friends. They're in their 70s and they live very active lifestyles. And I always tell them, never stop moving, okay? Go do things in the yard or go for your walks. Like, we have to keep that movement going because typically what we find is when people become sedentary, especially as they get older, that's where we start to see health issues arise and more problems can come from that sedentary position and not staying active and moving as much as they can. Another benefit of walking is going to be how it affects your blood sugar or blood glucose levels. We typically see after we have a meal, right, we have that spike of blood sugar and that walking, if we do it after a meal, really brings it down and just keeps our body in a nice regulatory state of our blood sugar. One of the biggest benefits that I found for myself personally has been the mental benefits I get from walking. So when I go for my walks, it allows me to get everything that I had just mentioned. I have blood circulating, especially to my brain. It allows me a lot of mental clarity. So at times when I go on my walks, I'm thinking about things that have gone on in the past or what I have to do today. It gives me a nice sense of reflection and kind of allows me to solve problems going on in my brain and also just give me wakefulness and more alertness, kind of kickstarting that day or whenever I'm going through that walk. I often have used this tactic before I have big presentations or maybe when I was in school and had to do some sort of speech. I would go for even a five to 10 minute walk prior and I just felt better going into whatever I had to present. Uh, and it just always made the outcome a lot more favorable for me than if I just kind of woke up and went right to it and didn't have some sort of movement prior to that engagement. Another benefit of walking for the mental side of things is it boosts your mood, okay? We know with exercise, we release endorphins. Well, if we get our walk going, it does the same exact thing. So on top of everything I just mentioned, you're gonna feel better just from going for a short walk and just getting that blood flow circulating throughout your brain and your body. Now, bonus tip would be if you can, get your walk outside, get some sunlight. A majority of people in the world are not getting enough sunlight and we live these sedentary lives where we're inside, okay, we don't have access to the sun or we're working a job where we can't get out. So by getting these walks in, we're raising those vitamin D levels, which is very essential for just health in general. And on top of that, if you can get out in nature, there is proven research to just show how beneficial being out in nature can be as well. So 
If you can put that all together, you have a really great recipe to get the max benefits from your walks. So bringing this thing full circle on top of all the benefits that have just been mentioned, walking builds momentum. So if I had a client or somebody who maybe wanted to get into exercise or fitness, maybe it's a family member, I would start them with the walks or myself with the walks because that's something easy that we can do right now. We can start seeing those benefits feel those benefits, and then from there, once we have that habit created, we can maybe take the next step, which may be some sort of exercise. Not saying it has to be resistance training, but it could just be the next level. Maybe that's going to be taking yoga, or maybe that's going to be doing some running or some jogging. Maybe that is resistance training with weights or getting uh, some sort of program that you're on. But I like to do things in steps, right? And we have to have progression to that. I wouldn't just take someone who maybe is overweight and just right away throw them into the gym, kind of like right into the fire of it. I find that it's a better progression to start them, you know, at the beginner level, which could be walking, and then slowly progress and titrate that up to where we can eventually get them in the gym. And not only is their body and mind prepped for that now, uh, but they also have a better base to work from just from getting those walks in. So a real easy way to go about this on how we can structure it in with our day, and the first one's just gonna be wake up and go for a walk, okay? I don't care if it's five minutes, if it's 10 minutes, if it's 30 minutes, the longer we can get in, the more benefits we're going to have, but obviously that's gonna depend on where your ability is and what your schedule and how you structure your day. So if you have the time to just get out for that five or 30 minute walk in the morning, awesome, do it. If you can preferably do it in sunlight or in nature, even better. If you can't, guess what? Do the best thing that you can. Now another step from there would be after every big meal we have is to go out for some duration of a walk. I don't care if it's five minutes, I don't care if it's 20 minutes, but just try to get out after a meal. And it's a really nice way to build that habit because we have our meals which are set and then we're gonna stack that habit with walking. And I really love habit stacking. It's a tactic I got from the book Atomic Habits which really just makes it a lot easier. If you know after you have that meal, go hit the walk, it becomes ingrained and it's just a routine that you begin to build. So that's kind of the whole gist of this video. I'm not gonna beat the dead horse, but I know how simple and easy and effective walking can be, no matter what level you're at. If you're an elite athlete, you have benefits. If you're someone who's just trying to start their health and fitness journey, you can always do this as well. So it, it just works for every single person that watches this video. And if you aren't doing it, I highly recommend it. And if you are doing it, right, try to make sure that we're getting it in consistently and building that habit. But I've just found that there have been so many benefits for me, not only physically, but mentally as well. And it's something I'm always gonna keep doing until the day that I die. Do as much of it as possible just to stay active and moving. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share your comments on maybe your walking stories or how it's benefited or impacted your life, and maybe share it with somebody who is on the fence of getting involved with their health or fitness and wants just a very easy entry ticket to this journey that could have just an immense amount of benefits. That's all I have today, guys. So stay a lean, mean strength health machine. I'll catch up with you next time. Peace.